Hi, I'm Letty Teague. I'm the wine columnist for the Wall Street Journal, and I'm here at Union Square Wine and Spirits to talk about Malbec from Argentina. Malbec is the great grape of Argentina. Um, it is, of course, the great grape of France as well, which is where it originated, but it, it really was put on the map by uh, Argentine winemakers. And I would say probably it's in the last 10 years or so that it's become one of the most popular wines in this country. There are a lot of, a lot of very attractively um, priced Malbecs, and that's, that's you know, key to its popularity. That you can get really good, really consistent wines for about $10, $12. A good Malbec is, is very lush and ripe and dense, um, has a fair amount of alcohol but not overpowering, and so it's versatile and um, basically delicious. The father of Malbec um, is this man, um, Nicolas Catania. Even though, of course, he wasn't the only one making uh, um, great Malbecs in the past 20 years, but he has certainly been at the forefront of Argentine wine quality. And, uh, and I think he was, he was named the Decanter Man of the Year um, and has it on his label. Um, so, which is to say he's a very famous man and, and highly recognized for his accomplishments. Um, nobody realizes this in, in the larger world that uh, grapes have been planted in Argentina for a very long time, but it was really with the advent of Malbec in the, uh, in the late 90s and I would say even 10 years ago that he and just about everyone else began planting furiously and making Malbec and of course making it the popular wine that it is today in this country. In fact, Malbec accounts for the vast majority of, of imports to the United States uh, from Argentina and there's a good reason for that. There are also winemakers coming from all over the world to, to invest in Argentina and that's a key factor I think in the success of, of Malbec. You have winemakers like Michel Roland who uh, actually has his own project in Argentina and um, Clos de la Siette. And I think the fact that there's still so much investment on the part of uh, um, winemakers within the country and winemakers and vintners outside the country is key to Argentine Malbec's current success and certainly key to its, its future world dominance. <laughs>